you doing there, bruh? Put it on, say she's close. Don't look, she's naked. There you go. Good girl. All right, hopefully this fits. Last one was too tight, so we're gonna redo it. It's just a sock. <laughs> Why are you putting it feel weird? Is that better? Okay, hold on. Where's your hat? Oh, there it is. Uh, Wait, face. No, don't go crazy yet. No, stop. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, Sawyer? Uh, it's pedicure day, even for Moose. Mm -hmm. More like treat day for him now. Yes. Maybe Keating his treats. Nice and pink. Crunchy. <laughs> what do you think, Moose? Mm -hmm. My Good boy. You're gonna look cute. Look at it. You you just so mad. Here you go. Yeah, you get the perfect treatment right now. He's probably so confused right now. There we go, are. baby kitty. This is good training. I have you. a couple in my hand. Let's see for his next okay. paw. Uh -huh. okay. I promise we'll only do your one paw, okay? One more treat. He's gonna be so sick. Ah, oh, you kind of deserve it. Hey, I don't. I'm not painting his nails. I never do anything you wrong to you. Treat. You're getting special treatment today. Oh. It's because you're a cute kitty with your pink nails. Other hand. <gasps> Other hand. Oh, he's like, let me go. Here, Brian. Good boy. Have some more treatment. Look at looks. Are... Oh, you like that. It's okay. He's like, no, let me go. Here you go. God, just look wait. Look at the pink sparkly coming out. You like pink. I'm going to hold him better. He's like, okay, it's let okay. me go. Ready? You're okay. Set. All right, Lady Moose. Go. <laughs> He's crazy. No way. He's like, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, chicken. Okay, I'm sitting here making a coffee, and I can see Sace playing on the hot tub lid with a piece of snow. Oh, he saw me. He might stop. He was going crazy, I guess she. But every time we go out there, or obviously, as you can tell, when she sees people filming her, she stops. <laughs> See her meowing. Oh, maybe she'll do it again. Come on, Sace. Nope. I think she's done. Oh, <gasps> that's funny. Listen, you can hear her meowing by the door. Turns out that we were out of a lot of food, apparently, as I was notified day of. Um, so I had to run a tractor supply and get one, two, three, four, five. There's one in the back seat. Six, seven, one out in the road, and eight is one is already in the shop. Um, I just tried to transfer two bags and ended up slipping um, on the icy driveway. So I've got to do this one at a time. So fun. Um, yeah, so I have my little buddy Sace with me. She's here somewhere. Sace! Sace, Sace! She's been tripping me. I can hear her meowing. 
So here we go, transfer time. Hallelujah. And if I make it all the way up without slipping, it'll be a miracle. Everyone is getting excited. They can all see me. The dogs all think they're about to get fed. The pigs are freaking out. That's the funniest part. So I can hear Nellie squealing her little head off. Go on, dogs. What do you think? Huh? You think it's feeding time? <laughs> she wishes. Dogs are all in a lovey mood today. They probably just want a snack. They're all jealous. <laughs> like a bunch of attention thirsty oh, polar bears. Is that right, Naira? Yeah, you too. She's the only patient one. They're the ones that jump on me. Hi. Hi. So cute. Now the goats think it's feeding time. Poor babies. Rigsby is so needy for attention. It's hard the goats, I guess. More so just for the food, though. Hi, Rigsby. Hi, Hattie. Hi, Marilla. Ooh, almost tripped on a stump. Oh, that's a big boy. Hey, hey. Watch the paws. Hi. What you doing, huh? What you doing? You big sad polar bear trapped away. How about you? Rigsby's the most needy out of all of the dogs. He loves to jump up and put his shoulders on your own and pretend like he's dancing with you. And this dog is clawing my behind. The little stinker. <laughs> To go through disappointed because I didn't get food. Yeah. Hi, Rigsby. Time to visit my favorite pet, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, the feistiest pig. Hi, Nelly. Let's go see her. It's sad now because she's always locked up. I can't call her. But whenever I'm outside and I'm still talking to people, I can hear her start to squeal. She knows it's me. She misses me. And I'm her. I miss her. Hold on now, we gotta get the gay shot. Hey! Hi! Oh, you're getting my pants all wet. Hi, pigs. Oh, hi, Sam. How'd you get to jump so high? They're all getting so big. They're not the cute little piglets anymore. Now they're big fat pigs. Especially Nelly. Is that right, Nelly? Huh? There's a camera. And then there's you. You guys are so loud. So loud. Always so needy. Gil is biting my boots. Which actually aren't my boots. Probably mom's and Nash's. I don't have the nice muck boots, so I usually just steal them when needed. And then there's sweet, sweet Nelly. She knows exactly what she likes, and she'll hold perfectly still to get it. Ain't that right, Nelly? Ain't that right, cute pig pigs? What? Hi. And then there's Gil. Gil wants attention, too. He's jealous. He's definitely a ham. No joke intended. Looks like there's a problem. Pigs, well, first problem is that Nelly wants more attention. She's getting her snot on my legs. For the second problem is there's no water. So they're either dumping it, drinking it all, which they don't usually do, or they just weren't given some this morning, so we'll get some water for them, especially for Nelly. She needs a hot bath. So do you, Anne, don't worry. A rare sighting. A moose outside. Obviously hates it. <laughs> He's probably not even used to this cold. He 
He hates it. <laughs> and he hates the dogs even more. There he goes, all the way home. Here he is, waiting for me to come rescue him. You wanna go inside, Bruce? I can barely even see you. You wanna go inside? Yeah? Oh, poor baby kitty. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, kitty. He knows. He knows I'll save him. <laughs> there he goes. Dog wants part of the fun, too. Come on, let's go inside. Back to the fire. And poor Sace wishes she could go inside. Mom won't let her though. She said she's too crazy. That's just because Sace wants to have some fun. Come on, Sace. Oh. Where did Moose go? Here he comes. Come on, Moose, hurry. Oh, it's super slippery over here. Here we are. Gonna go give the pig some water. I got my shoulder, buddy. She's all shivery and cold and gonna fall off here pretty soon. Hey, hey you, what's up? Poor girl. She's too little for this cold. You wanna jump off? She's debating. She's like, I know it's warm. And I know there's a dog on the ground. Oh, might as well stay up here. She'll probably jump off when we get close to the pigs though. She hates pigs. There we go. You want to get off the person express, huh? Huh? No? You want to jump? That's okay with me. I already heard that I've been sick for the past couple days and stuff. So. But today I've been feeling a lot better, so we're gonna go do the chores and stuff. We got hammered in case any of the water's frozen, so we can break that. And then we got a bucket of warm water because the pigs have a new kind of food, and we have to soak it so that it'll make them warmer. And we heard something that's better for them in the winter, so we're gonna go do. Let's go get the food. All right, Finn's gonna get a pan, if she can open the door, from outside, and we're gonna fill it with these over here. They're alfalfa pellets, but these are what we're gonna use, not just that, but we'll use that, some of the pig food, and some cracked corn for the pigs. Okay, so it actually turns out that for the pigs, we're supposed to soak their food um, overnight so it can get nice and big and that'd be better for their stomachs. But we didn't, so we're gonna soak food tonight and then tomorrow morning we'll do the good stuff. So tonight, Finn's got the scraps and we're gonna go feed them scraps and then we'll get some of the normal pig food too. So we're gonna feed the dogs first. Let's see if I can do this, okay. We got Rigsby's in the pasture. So we're gonna feed him after. And then we're gonna feed Fern and Willow right now. So we are going to go feed the pigs and the dogs. And then I've got the chicken food. So Finn, we're going to the dogs first. We're gonna go feed the dogs first so we can get all the dogs done. And then when the more empty buckets we have, the easier it is. Cause we can just shift buckets and only end up carrying one instead of three. So, we fed the goats this morning and they only get food in the mornings. And we're gonna start soaking their food too, so it's more filling. Um, the pigs are very hungry tonight. Finn, you can dump the scraps first. Here. All right, you can go dump the scraps. Oh, we forgot the hammer. It's okay. No, Finn, Finn, Finn. All okay. right, we're gonna feed Riggy. Finn's dumping the scraps. And the goats are going crazy. So we got Rigsby's food. 
And that may not look like much, but he does not eat like anything. And he just guards it all night. So we'll come back out and pick up his food later so he doesn't bother the goats. So now we're pretty much done. We just gotta do the chickens. Finn, can you take this? It's empty, you can do whatever you want with it. All righty, we're gonna go feed the chickens, check the waters, and then we're done. All right, we got the chickens fed and their light is still working, which is great. Usually they end up breaking in a couple weeks and we gotta go in there and get new bulbs and replace them all. But so far this one's been doing great. So we got those chickens done, now we gotta go do the ones in the red coop check their food and water. Make sure they're all doing okay. I think there's only two in here, but that's okay because we can't really let them out to get different ones in. So we'll check their food and see how they're doing. Alrighty, we got their food in there. Now their gate has not been working out so good lately. I've had to bang it in there a bunch of times and, oh wait. Oh yeah, today it went right in. That's great. So they're all good. They're up there roosting and fresh food and water and they're doing great. We'll go soak the food now and we'll be done. Pretty sky with the snow. Fresh food for all the animals. Except the goats who are really sad, but they'll get extra tomorrow morning. Okay, so I got it all set up. I got the pig food soaking and the goat food soaking. But then I realized they're just gonna freeze tonight. So we're gonna have to bring them down to the shop and I wasn't smart enough to think about that. So we'll bring them down to the shop and then we'll leave them overnight and they'll be big and puffy tomorrow morning and should be really good for them. So I guess we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're gonna go do dogs and chickens. So we're gonna go do those. <laughs> Angus is gonna go run and let Fern out of the garden. No one knows what happened, but Fern is locked in the garden. So she probably just slid under someplace and can't figure out how to get out. But he's gonna let her out and then we'll um feed them and then we'll film with finn and we'll go do the pigs You may be wondering where Riggy is, but he's still in the pasture. So we just get there, his food, and we feed him separately. And he's way up there. And we'll go feed him next. All right. I couldn't find a pan, but that's okay. We'll just dump one of them there on the cement. food over there. She's on the cement. So I'll go get some chicken food and then we'll go feed chickens. You may be thinking that's a lot of food for one dog. And that is too. But we um, feed them as much as they want and then we pick it up when they're done. So that way we don't waste any food and they don't just sit guarding it all night. Because once they have food, they won't give it up. So they're protective dogs. We will pick it up in a second. Thank you for watching All Creatures Form and Rescue. It's us tonight doing the wrap up. We're still trying to stay all warm and cozy. We're talking cold and the temperatures outside. 
Ain't that right, sis? Yes. <laughs> a lot of work to do and my hint is that <laughs> <laughs> you should have that voice what <laughs> keep going okay and my hint is that it will be inside and moves a lot like it angus what are you thankful for um probably that the new animal i can't wait for that It'd be a lot of work but you know i'm thankful for it yeah, and speaking of the new animal, do you have a hint for us, Sir Pete? I do. So my hint is that it will be all mine. Like I said, my thankfulness part, but I'm, I will have a lot of work. Do you have a hint for us? I do. My hint is that it's going to be inside and Moose will probably not be happy about it. <laughs> You're funny. Hopefully he will. Well, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a great week. I got kind of cold. Goodbye! <laughs>